Hi and welcome. So glad you could be here with us. I'm here with Margaret and um, thanks for being here, Margaret. Thank you for asking me. Yeah. Um, today, Margaret and I want to share with you uh, just the things that we've done that have helped us, especially Margaret and I have been working together recently. And I've, I also, I have a scoliosis, Margaret has a scoliosis, and you know, sometimes with scoliosis, we think of um, we think of it as being a very, very complicated thing, and sometimes it can be extremely complicated. Um, but often, the way we approach what's going on can have a profound influence on how the body self-regulates itself. And what I mean by that is when we're what we're going to be particularly showing you today is how we're using certain floor sitting exercises to talk to the smaller, more gravity-based muscles in the body. And what you're particularly um, going to be listening to us talk about is how each side of our body knows how to self-regulate when we set it up in a way that it can release into gravity. And that begins to, and, and, and what I mean by the setup is you'll see how we'll use pillows at times, we'll use pad, we'll, uh, it's how we sit like that, and, um, and how your body can actually adapt and become, it, it, the body's very plastic, there's a way in plastic in a sense of, of changeable, self-organizing. So I want to show you for just a second what my spine looks like when I allow myself to sort of fall into what is a more, a more uh, primary curve for me. So there's a way that my spine wants to bend if I don't embody my left side. When I allow my left side to be more my left side to be more perceptually aware, there's a way that I can feel my, I've done it for so many years now, I can feel my body has changed tremendously and it's really been incredible. It's, it's taught me a lot. So um, before we go into our movements, Margaret, um, can you say just a, a little bit about what you're noticing about the, po the poses that we're going to share? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm very early in Pilates, and um, after just a couple of sessions, I I can feel the the challenge. I can feel that muscles that have never been used are suddenly um, awake and and aware, um, and it feels good. I feel the I feel already things starting to change um, after just a couple of sessions and just a few practices at home. Um, I see that I can move a little further, so. The stretches and the different poses that Wendy has showed me have, have helped to that. And thank you so much. And what will be fascinating for you is we're going to show you these, um, these certain primal postures. Then we're going to do the next video showing how, having done those postures, how we take that into working on the reformer mm -hmm. and how that actually helps Margaret's body set up differently with how she's being with the foot bar, how she's being with the sliding platform. So it's, it's, it's really quite, quite wonderful to see what you notice and, um, and um, just to see how, our, how magnificent our bodies are. So let's begin first of all with toe sit. Okay. So one thing that Margaret is noticing is if and to be really in that toe sit position, remember how we're, we're going to go first of all, instead of just sitting back there, show how you move into lifting your knees, reaching back through your heels. Mm -hmm. See, um, Margaret's working on strengthening her knees too. And so to reach back through the heel, and then as you bend your knees forward, it helps you get more into the metatarsal heads, reaching back through the heel and bringing knees forward, and then reach back and roll forward. So you're rolling through the foot to begin to develop that feeling of the heel reach, the lift of the inner ankle, 
and then come back down into now Margaret was saying that that helps her to feel more of a, a, a resting down in mm -hmm. the toe sitting. Is that what it feels like to you, Margaret? Yes, I, I have a knee that's uh, stiffer than the other, and so it's a little bit hard to sit back. The pillows help, the, the, the rolling and the working with my feet. And that's one thing that's been very surprising to me is how important my feet have been through this process. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. So once again, we did one pillow, and Margaret's knee is going to tell us, because her knee's going to change once she's giving it more and more and more resting down. You can feel how it's still not quite there. Mm -hmm. So we're putting more and more support. Yeah. And it's a little bit more, a little bit more resting down, right? Mm -hmm. So she's able to feel a little more down and this is even more you're still not quite resting but it's deeper and deeper and deeper and once again mm -hmm. we're listening to her knee telling us how far mm -hmm. and so from there now you'll go into hero and you want to see do you need that does that feel like it's good do you want one do you want two I how probably could have less go ahead and try it and just see what you want what happens with less and you may just want no, one level instead I like of two. Yeah. yeah, try the one or see if you want to double it. No, that's perfect. See, so we're, we're, you're always asking. So that's, your body will tell you right away what it needs. So now your knee is saying yes. That's the key yeah. right there. You're not, we're not working through pain. You're uh, letting, if your body can't rest down, the pain will never go away because you're fighting your body. So this is beautiful. And Margaret has her heels slightly out, toes in, and there's a, a sense of release mm -hmm. sitting down. This is the hero position. Mm -hmm. And from that position, one leg. So now one foot comes forward. Beautiful. And now the goal here is to allow, see her right foot came forward, and what do you notice on this side when you're allowing that right hip to sit? First of all, this is your knee that feels better coming up right now, so it's yes. great to start with, you know, being on the side that can take a little more pressure at first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that allow your right hip to sit down? I probably need to move the pillows. I probably need to Good. adjust the pillows a little more. Because I can sit a little farther down on this side. Great. And don't need it as much as I need it on this side. Great. Great. Yeah. Yeah. And what have you noticed with this posture as far as, I know the first time we did it, it was really hard to stay centered. <laughs> I felt like I was going to flop over. Um, I think I said I can't um, a couple of times. Um, and, and Wendy was patient and working with me and showing me how different kinds of support would help me be able to do the postures. Yeah, and one thing we did that was really key was what was difficult, we went back to the easier side, came back to the more difficult side, and it just began to change, rather mm -hmm. than trying to push out the, the more difficult side. Keep asking. Beautiful, let's go to the other side. more yes help do you want to double the um, yes yep let's double this yeah that's gonna work yeah wow yeah that's doing really well that's, that's such great. an improvement over the first time yeah I had uh, cushions I had blocks and now I'm down to yeah it's much beautiful. less beautiful yeah and, and really feeling, I can see how you're able to just let yourself rest more into that left side, mm -hmm. which was hard the first time, mm -hmm. really hard. So a lot has changed in a short period of time because yeah. we're talking to those deep gravity-based muscles. This is just great, just great, yeah. And how does your knee feel in this it, position? It feels fine. Yeah, yeah. great, great. Good, so now from here we go to the Z-sit. And this is where 
one foot, well, you can show, where one knee goes out to the side, and right, and then you can just kind of position, put the pillows under you. On this side. This right, side. This right. Side. So one foot is in front, the other leg is back by your side, and basically you're looking to sit equally on both hips. Mm -hmm. This is a position we use a lot in structural integration. So many of these postures I've done for a long time. Um, and what has been wonderful that, uh, that working with Philip Beach has really helped me to look at the postures as more of a continuum and seeing how, um, how they feed into one another. And that's been really beautiful. So I see a lot out of that. Yeah. And once again, you want to look at how much height you have that allows your knee, neither knee, to complain and allows you to feel heavy on both sitting bones. Beautiful. Yeah. And now you can change to the other side. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, this feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel how you're really, um, you're articulating more at your hips mm -hmm. and your pelvis is freeing up, mm -hmm. getting more free, not so, not so held in one, one direction. Yeah, this is really excellent. Yeah, I think the key for this pose is to have the the support on the side where it's needed, and then that lets my hips just fall exactly. into the right place. And exactly. feels, that feels so good. Yeah, and think of this as a fascial way of being with your body. Because often what we do is we focus on stretching a muscle. And mm -hmm. rather than that, that's a pieces and parts way of looking at ourselves. So I'm tight here, I should stretch this. So when we look at how the whole fascial system, we are whole, we're whole human beings. And when we look at how the fascial system supports the muscles and the bones, mm -hmm. then to set yourself up in a way that you feel comfortable in your whole body as you're addressing a particular area, that's a very whole body way of thinking about yourself. And then your whole body responds. So beautiful. Yeah. Fabulous. Mm. Great. Thank you so much, Margaret. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. So join us next for uh, a, a piece that we're going to do on the reformer, and you'll see how we build on these primal postures with what we do in Pilates. Thanks.